Hello, let me do a little bit of recapitulation uh, because there is a little break and I will be inserting the video which we took in the workshop. It will be also a follow up on the small snaps that were taken there. So, that you will know a little about why I am insisting that we go through all these things. One of the important or uh, the reason why this is being done is all prototypes are made using one or two of the simpler way. Most of the things we end up with trying to do things in a small workshop or in your case you may be giving it to a fabricator outside and generally most electronic equipment end up as being or some parallel or uh, parallelogram uh, what do you call uh, a prismatic shape which has typically 6 faces uh, that, that is uh, I mean uh, you know <laughs> what I am talking about. And extremely rare case it can also be built with only 4 faces that is a you know that uh, triangular uh, this thing. So, the issue being the thing is face. So, there are enough faces and uh, we can go on like that on this topic. Now, let me get back to hope you remember this. This is nothing, it could have been any simple what do you call lab equipment, but a little bit of interest has been generated by rearranging the components. First of all, you see here this and this mass has been broken by having something which you know sort of looks at us, but the moment it comes very much down, there is a little issue, these are all design things which I will not uh, as such talk about, but here what you will notice is once again this has been broken here and you see here you have the main calibrating or setting up things are given here in the middle, then you have something uh, which uh, you know the signal uh, is fed here a signal is out and then we have a display here. This has been made with a very traditional that old microprocessor uh, 8085 kit based thing where in fact, there used to be a big rectangular panel typically height is around 130 mm and the width is the standard 19 inch that is some 426 and so on, but typically you can take it as a 400 mm by 100 mm or 120 mm. Uh, rectangular piece and then for convenience usually somewhere here in this right side the keys were I will call it you no know, stuck here and then there used to be a display and then few bit of uh, some I will say uh, random inputs and outputs you will be surprised the same thing has been taken and relayed out in this form. And this is here no I keep uh, again coming back to my old thing saying things are a little different things are about the same also. So, if you go to the if you check on the web there are enough free designer uh, what you call panels are there. You can design a front panel using you can download one of these front panel designer uh, this thing if a little closely if you check or if you have the actually access to a uh, thing somewhere you see there is something called the 
C E T I N I do not know we will call it um, Katina or Setina or anything like this. Eventually, the background if you see is still continues to be a millimeter graph and these are the keys and things which I was telling you they are nice there is a keypad like thing which is on one of the sides. So, from here we have progressed to the other one and once again insisting on uh, this thing these elements like this are available for you to be freely used to download it uh, some uh, people you know insist that we tell them what it is, but in the end it is useful for both the person who has posted it there and users like us. Because once you have frozen on this component chances are you will buy it and once you buy one it is there it is in everybody's memory including the company and including the academics you have done. Things like this have probably evolved that way. I started with uh, something simple from machine tools and they have become standardized and they are interchangeable from several suppliers they are almost generic. So, you can pick all these elements and then organize them on a front panel and eventually you can drastically improve the panels what you have here and as I said there are softwares and there are uh, any number of these uh, things which you want to do here you have seen this really very very large number and there are people who who fabricate these things for you on demand. Interesting is it not and eventually the starting point is again a <laughs> simple 2 d illustrated sketch. The only problem with 2 d illustration is that uh, it is not as flexible as a regular vector based package. The advantage of vector based is you can move it everywhere, you can export it, import it and do whatever you want. And you see something equally interesting is done here, there are acrylic front panels, read this, acrylic front panels are transparent and various color options, process can be used for printing both the front and back of the front panel. So, where will I use uh, front and back depending on uh, the type of use it has and depending on is there a chance of some parallax or equipment I mean things being mounted and so on. So, we have here th there are people who offer this offer these services. Say at this point you see there is just a simple matrix uh, uh, sort of keyboard typically 3 by 4 12 that comes to 0 to 9 plus a to f. <coughs> So, that will come to usual 16 elements. This used to be the conventional way. Now, there is no necessity for you to only stick to that. You make a reasonable design and huh, very, very interesting here. FR4 is a printed wiring board material. So, we have something which can be used directly as a front panel actually the small other thing saying it may not be directly used as a front panel, but it can be a sheet that can be put behind the front panel. So, just to hold your interest see here aha they are getting interesting extremely interesting. So, things like this probably the small things were they started small and finally, when they got integrated we have beautiful racks full of this equipment. It is not a it is not a gag post this is real this is real <laughs> to the extent that uh, just a little while back I talked to you about the 19 inch uh, 
or the rack mounted thing. So, if you go to wiki and check for what is called the Euro style rack, this is a multiple of a u, one u is one and a half and quarter inch which will come to very odd figure of some 44.45 millimeters. These are all pitches in consultation, I mean in uh, what you call step repetition and you can always make a library of these things and keep whenever you want you can cut and paste them here. So, in this case it looks like a 3 u or maybe 3 u plus 3 u there and then something here. So, very very interesting things here. It is just a repetition what I have shown you already are just a repetition. The starting point for all these things is invariably what appears on the front panel. This is an enlargement from the one earlier. But you see the point I am trying to make is you should decide on what you want where based on usability plus the way you can arrange the components inside only you are the expert in it. It is possible some of them may not be needed at all for you no point in populating the whole thing as you like. So, before freezing everything coming back to the old chicken or egg approach both are real you must know what is the circuit you want and then you must know what the circuit you want is by finding out what is it the potential customer needs not what is the earlier one they need potentially what the new customer uh, needs if you can somehow use your intuition and come back and make a model you have already won the race. So, I will just uh, quickly scroll through this now. <laughs> I am not sure it is an internationally retro or it is a old thing. So, all your the best music and all was probably made using this <laughs> and why I am showing you it is this is not done in any 3 D modeling or using CNC machines or laser cutting or anything everything was laid out on graph paper masters were made screen printing was done or in this case probably it is partially photo anodizing and screen printing and you have fantastic fantastic unbelievably complicated equipment. Elemental thing is still the old components which are available everywhere. I am sure some of you who have audio are grown up with audio or you have seen uh, fathers and grandfathers having such equipment. This is typically something which can be mounted in a just stacked one over the other or if you add this flange it will become a 19 inch rack mountable the width is 19 inch and the height in this case is probably 88.1 and the width is 426. Now, we come to a very very curious and uh, I am sure you know what it is this is obviously not a printed front panel this one is a something made on a mobile yeah this is a what do you call a, a, a graphical interface made for HTC. So, you see here there is advantages disadvantages advantages anything you want you can make if I know the size if I know the size anything I want anything you want you can make disadvantage however is display and continuous change, continuous change of aspect ratio resolution 
and the position of the front element. Some of them show fully full thing is occupied, some of them will have a black bar here, some of them will have the so called teardrop uh, front camera and there are sort of you know the, uh, there is a you know runaway cameras these days. Honor to see these things and it is very very easy for you to take a print of it modify it. You can probably move this whole thing somewhere else and uh, rejuggle uh, things and so on. An artificial horizon, <laughs> I do not know it is part of a, a video game or it is just something that is uh, just created. You can now discuss these things with your colleagues. Very, oh, I will not know exactly what it is, I just picked it up from the net. This is not a very long time back and still perfectly serviceable and they are used in the studios all over the world and suddenly there is a what do you call um, resurgence of old not retro is not style. They have found out that the new way of dealing with electronics is not helping much that is the reason still good old simple tube amplifiers are still valid. The beauty is you can probably understand all these elements, you can use this retro style or you can now do a modern uh, thing saying do you need all these uh, fixed uh, things and so on. So, you have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. very good getting better i don't know if it's for real but to me you know it looks uh, quite enjoyable and even these names i'm sure you know what these names are they are big and that the people who have given you music, you have got the music from them. This is probably a later day synthesizer. This is 10 years ago I when I ran this uh, class and given to my students at over here at the Indian Institute of Science, they made all this. Thing is minor constraints are given saying try to use things which are possible in the near future. You understand now immediate near future meaning things are available need not invent anything and that was the time when one laptop per child thing was going on in a big way saying now do anything, but this was actually uh, one of the very first exercises saying make a simple mock up on your concept of how a future small laptop can be, no further constraints were given. So, I think it is obvious here one of the resistance came out with what is an obvious thing looks a little different is not it, we expect probably a keyboard here and then we expect a display there, <laughs> little upside down you have a display here and you have something else there, I am sure you would have appreciated what it is. This as per uh, him or her is a laptop PC which you keep open and leave it outside and 
you can have the display here and then probably one small corner of the display can be used for as a input device meaning this is a directly touch device. So, all you have to do is maybe keep it flat or even in fact this can be reversed so that the ambient light will be used and then this laptop will keep running this will not charge it is a charged laptop it will not lose charge as fast as it would be otherwise. So, very large number of these concepts were made ha huh. oh ho oh. you can probably remove the pad just then the you know the original iPad and uh, things were being made and another thing is saying this is a charger for the iPad you can use the iPad as you like closed. <laughs> this is very very cute it is just the whole thing is a just a graphic overlay it is not a real life uh, what do you call a device what uh, they have done is they have taken uh, this is probably a styrofoam and uh, painted by hand by careful paints probably watercolors and these are probably something which you know they have picked up and everything else you know is cutouts and there is a beautiful somehow they got this and put it there. more ah. <laughs> saying who will ever read an online newspaper that was a little you know problem in the beginning, but now we have everything I too am surprised that uh, you know I can open a mobile and read the news it is not the same as an online newspaper, but my interest is knowing the news. And now, when I have sponsored news, how do the advertisements pop up and all that? So, somebody had come with this saying, eventually, probably will be able to use it like that. And you see here, all these are simple overlays made by a simple illustrator program. So, these were all taken from somewhere, and uh, they have just uh, probably that. Uh, the student was very much interested in ARM processors and uh, system design and so on. So, he took this page from a uh, what do you call trade literature and he stuck it there and then he added all these things. So, I am very much impressed by what all can be done. very difficult to believe is it actually a real thing or uh, what is this and what is this probably for size he has put one uh, actual I do not know if it is an apple or something and then he put these two things. So, that size wise we will know what is going on. That was where the whole thing started. Why should somebody call it something iPad? Why not call it what he has called? Do you see here? He was one of the persons from actually a product design, it is not a studio, uh, it is actually from the what you call the military engineering uh, services. He has come out with a concept saying the future is going to be slightly different you may or may not have keys anymore this is an active capacitive uh, touch surface by that time only resistive was available saying any keyboard you want you can punch up the keyboard any language or anything. So, this is a very conventional normal touch screen that is kept here. This variant probably is instead you can have keys here because that will make it much 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 cheaper compared to this. Seen here the scene here here you can see that 
there are uh, what you call probably what is equivalent to mouse kiss. This is a full touch pad. The critical thing comes here. What looks like a very simple thing, his concept was saying eventually everybody will be carrying one of these uh, things and they may be wanting to show things directly on the screen and they may be sitting across the table. You would not want the other person to see. So, this is a very <laughs> peculiarly his concept of a screen where translucent you can see from that side and you can see from this side also saying you can present what you want on the other side. If you want to share you can echo it with mirror I do not know how it can be done. So, when you close it probably it will look like this I am not sure can you see here in this side this is on one side this is probably on the other side I am not very sure his concept was saying it is a matter of time somebody or the other will work towards it. So, we will have a laptop which you hold it up and this is not a big laptop probably it is something equivalent to the now uh, 10 inch uh, anything, but the aspect ratio is different it is already the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So, you keep it in front of you and you can punch up anything you want the person other side can see what this man wants him to see which I thought now is very very clever. Why I am mentioning it not as a product idea or product concept saying the whole thing has been has been made he has taken a uh, transparent sheet what is called the overhead projector uh, transparencies and uh, he printed it in his uh, I think in our lab and uh, mocked the whole thing. Only thing is a little unusual is probably the hinge remaining everything is made at home more and more and more of these things ignore that name he can claim saying my name is Sony that is a different thing. And you see here anything you want has probably been <laughs> mocked. Now, I come to a <laughs> real problem are these real computers probably this one does look like a real computer and that is only kept for scale. Ha, it is not a real computer it is still a mock up only I do not know how they manage it because uh, there are some people who are ready to you know do these things. So, a revolutionary new way of doing things can we have a, a drive where it is basically naked uh, frame a little like our motorbikes and all that. There is something here which is directly either probably it comes from inside or after it comes from inside you put your uh, what you call like any of your media and then probably there is a support and then it reads directly from there and the whole thing is all these are all mock up graphics that have been attached to some I will call it a pizza box. So, a lot of pizza boxes here. Now, you will appreciate no <laughs> I do not know what exactly the right thing is I thought let me stop it at this point ok. You see very very interesting extremely interesting things here in this case I am not very clear whether this is an actual uh, keyboard or uh, they have mocked a keyboard and then uh, they have made a beautiful uh, looking things huh? This is something of my it is obvious it is not a regular keyboard it is just a picture of a something either it is actually a picture of a keyboard or he has made his own variant of it QWERTY is one of the things. So, many other keyboards are there which are much better saying why is it is not it about time that we learnt a lot more about the new keyboards that can come. Again this exercise is not about concept generation this exercise here is not about how to make a model it is about saying 
without the help of downstream large amount of activities, it is possible for us to easily make these uh, make these things without too much of uh, you know reliance what you call dependency and other uh, things. I uh, will just keep these things. Yeah, I think I will stop here sir after I locate the other things my basic half an hour is over. I will uh, just stop here I am not able to locate something which I have stored here. Okay, so, thank you. <laughs>